What could be causing this? Um, well, first off, one possibility is malingering, what's called malingering. Now, malingering is the intentional reporting of fabricated symptoms motivated by clearly recognizable goal, like money, avoiding responsibilities, or obtaining drugs. That's just when somebody's just making it up. Okay. Now, I can't diagnose your daughter because, first off, I've never met her. Right. Uh, and when I do, I, I, in order to properly diagnose her, I would probably need a couple of weeks mm -hmm. to do that. So it would be improper and unethical for me to attempt to do that. But I'm going to tell you what process I would go through, and I could tell you that malingering would be crossed off my list instantly. Okay. I don't think your daughter is faking for one second. Thank you. I believe something has happened to your daughter. I believe that at some level, um, she has been violated in some way. Right. I would then consider what is called somatic symptom disorder. And somatic symptom disorder is when someone has abnormal thoughts or feelings and behaviors in response to perceived physical symptoms, even when there is evidence to the contrary. Like you're paralyzed, but there's evidence to the contrary. There's no reason right. for you to be paralyzed. And there are characteristics that go with that. There's disproportionate and persistent thoughts about the seriousness of one's symptoms. Right. Persistently high level of anxiety about health or symptoms. And there's excessive time and energy devoted to these symptoms or health concerns. Oh, that sounds like us. How do we get away from that? I'm not through. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so. We're trapped there. Okay, then also what would be on my short list of considerations is conversion disorder. Yes. And, and every hospitalization you've had mm -hmm. has talked about this. Yes. One way or another. And it's also called functional neurological symptom disorder and it has four basic characteristics. A, one or more symptoms of altered voluntary muscle or sensory function, like voluntary right. muscle movements. B, clinical findings provide evidence of incompatibility between the symptoms and recognized neurological or medical conditions. So whatever the symptom is, it's incompatible with the body. It's like right. if somebody has a, an L5 disc and they say it, their shoulder hurts. No, no, no. Right, it doesn't L5 work. goes down the leg, not up the leg. It's incompatible. Right. Okay. C, the symptom or deficit is not better explained by some other medical or mental disorder. And D, the symptom or deficit causes clinically significant distress or impairment in social, occupational, or other important areas of functioning. All of the above, check, check, yeah, check, so, check. And, and these, you can have these multiple diagnoses and mm -hmm. they can all fit. Let's assume she was a paraplegic. Yes. And it wasn't conversion. It, it wasn't something that she was creating she through her have belief system. Come back. Let's assume she really was a paraplegic. Right. You are babying her yes, to are. the point that you are crippling her. If she truly was a paraplegic, you are crippling her further. Because we feel so guilty. That's right. You're you're treating her that way to make yourselves feel better and right. causing her to not be able to function because you've you're parenting her out of guilt. She has been in a wheelchair for 10 years and there's nothing wrong with her legs. And these memories that are being dredged up here, I, let me tell you. I don't know how Kelly- If seven men hunted her down in the woods and gang raped her, here's some good news. That didn't happen. Oh, thank you. Now, does that mean somebody d did not touch her inappropriately in some way? No, it, it, that doesn't mean it didn't happen. And more than likely, it, 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 something probably did happen. We don't know what to do to get her out of it. Well. Other than scream Dr. Phil. The first thing you got to do is start being honest with yourself. I ask you about the rape kit. Yes. You say, well, I'm not sure. Yes, you're sure. Okay. You know that the damn rape kit was negative. Okay. Stop telling yourself you don't know. 
Was she raped that you can't No, she was not. Okay. That doesn't mean she's a liar. That just means that she's having trouble separating reality from fantasy right, right. now. We have to help her with that.